Rodolfo, most brain scientists believe, as you do, that the mind is only the brain and therefore the person is all material. Certainly all theologians, but a great many philosophers would dispute that. Uh, what do you say to people who, who, would, who would argue that to reduce the mind to the brain is something very derogatory? Right, but I would say um, that they are um, maligning matter. <laughs> uh, I, I could I could probably say you know uh, matter is um, this matter you believe that there's a god. I would imagine that if a god were to create something that would be capable of making planets, light, uh, living forms and thought that that wouldn't be anything to sneer at. <laughs> so it is the fact that we, we say it's just matter, as if matter was nothing. Uh, so I, I could imagine a religion in which matter, energy, is God. <laughs> so, so we turn the whole thing upside down and says, no, you, you are not beginning to understand how precious matter is, how precious you are. Because instead of, of understanding what you are, you want to be what you're not. <laughs> you know, instead of the highest of beasts, somebody say you want to be the lowest of angels. <laughs> yes, well, beasts we understand, so angels in the mind of the beholder, only there. So, no, I think it's very sad that, that uh, somehow we consider that because we might be able to understand issues of qualia, issues of memory, issues of feelings in, in the... Uh, in a, in a material point of view, that this would, that this is, that, that somehow demeans our nature, is in fact, what it tells us is how absolutely incredible matter is. Instead of, instead of bringing it down, we should say, listen, we are one with everything else. I mean, what more can you possibly ask? But, but, but the argument is, is that, is that if you look at everything else that we are just the same as, nothing else is conscious. You have planets and galaxies and Earth and, 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 and all different things, but then there's this one unique thing that has consciousness. Isn't that a problem to be solved? Isn't that no, a, no, but something sure. that... So, so what do we have that is, that is constant in, in, in consciousness of brain? What are the cells made out of matter? I mean, so... So what is this a terrible reduction? So but hold it, on. Look at all the matter in the universe, galaxies, planets. Uh, none of it is conscious. And then look at, look at our bodies. The heart has rhythmic activities, uh, something like the brain. It's not conscious. The liver has hundreds of thousands of enzymes in the most complex reaction. The liver is not conscious. There's something here that's very different. Yes, we discussed the fact the brain has a particular geometry. That the, brain, that the brain has a particular set of properties that are actually very precious, that requires a lot of energy. You don't want more brains that you can use. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, but is it that different? I'm not talking about pine psychism. I'm not saying that everything is conscious. I'm saying that there are some entities, there are some geometries that allow certain functional events to occur. That is what we're saying. They are functional events. The functional events that occur obviously are made out of atoms. We know that. How do we know that? If you remove the sodium from the blood of a person, the person dies. Yes. If, we, if we remove the sodium channels, there is no consciousness. So how much more do we need to say, well, the, those are, this is what the whole thing is made out of? There's no question so, there's a dependency. So, no, no. So this, but why do you... See, the, I, I, I have, I've, I've heard the argument uh, uh, defended as follows. There was, at some time, you remember the issue of the nature of heat. Mm -hmm. And the nature of heat required something called a caloric. It's a, something very special that goes through, <laughs> and then it is not material. And then suddenly <laughs> realizes that there isn't such thing as caloric. 
that all there is is the, mo the mobility, the, the dynamic properties of the molecules. And you're talking about movement of molecules. There's a whole series yeah. of these problems so, that have... So, so notice that the reduction is done, but then that one is thrown out. Yes. So, so, you know, but ultimately, instead of learning from the fact that we have already <laughs> said that some things cannot be understood by reduction that can right. then be reduced, instead right. of learning from it, we still say, yes, but, but not this one, and not this one, and not this no, one. No, we don't say about it all, we say it about one thing, and that's consciousness. We don't but, say it about uh, anything. Uh, uh, We've learned the lesson not to say it about physical yeah, things uh, and uh, uh, atoms and quarks and, and things that may be invisible. Hopefully, we've learned those lessons okay. in biology and physics, but not about consciousness. Okay. Consciousness so, so, seems so, to be something so, 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 right. So then you, you hold to that corner and you say, yes, that's not, it. not that's in this corner. Not in this corner. And then you, you say, you can have the rest of the room, that's but right. not here. So, so then you say, okay, so let's test the hypothesis. You say there is not, there is not physical. Can I interact? Can I modify? Can I modify your soul with local anesthetic? Yes. Can I? So what is it that the soul is made out of that is soluble in local anesthetic? Well, it, right. It's not that the soul, it's not whatever, I don't know if it's a soul, I'm not no, saying no, it's no, a soul. No, no, I know. Whatever, whatever, whatever that, di that unique thing is to explain what consciousness is, is something that, that somehow creates this subjective feelings that we have, which we didn't have to have. We could be bodies without any internal feelings of consciousness. That would not be a problem to, to, to imagine. But, but there's no independence of that. It's not like the soul is an independent of that. So if you affect the brain, no, you no, affect no, no, it. No, no, but, but that, I, I, I kind of disagree with you there. Because I think that what people want is to live after death. They want something to remain, so they don't want. There the, may be no, a motivation. No, 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 I agree no, with okay. you. I agree with right. the motivation. So, so, so given we, that that is what they want, so clearly okay. it cannot be all there is. Well, well, that's a motivation. We should throw that out. I agree uh, with okay. that. But that should you, not you, affect well, our analysis. If you, well, if you throw that out, then the, the necessity for a non-physical situation disappears. Well, I, I would say... Now, if you say, give me the mechanism, the answer is, we don't have the mechanism, but we have it cornered. <laughs> so, give me an example. Okay, yeah, I'm going to toot my horn just a little bit. Let's hear this it. week, we write a paper, we say, uh, we publish a paper, pardon me, and that says the following. You have a mouse, a mouse that has been... Uh, treated in such a way that some of the channels that allows iron through are not generated, are not evoked, I mean, it's a knockout. This animal is born, it survives, it has a strange brain function, it has petty mal, it has a, a, a situation uh, of in, incapacity to move in an organized fashion. You now get rid of the epilepsy, and you find that the animal, when it has no epilepsy, that, as, that gave you the impression of cognition, has no cognition. That is, you now say, my God, the channels that I have removed are intimately related to the ability of have cognition, to have cognition. So why do I, what do I continue to deduce from it? That what we're talking about are well-defined cellular properties. At the end, where is the system going to be is the question that I'm asked. Yes, but when you get to the cytoplasm, how are you going to put it together? The answer is, that is indeed a very important question. No, and we don't have the answer. We don't, but we can taste it. <laughs> At least if we cannot see it, we know it is in that corner, and boy, are we going to get it done. The question is, when we get it done, are we going to be any different? And the answer is, not at all. We're probably going to love each other more, because we're going to know about our real nature. We're not angels. Okay, so, um, why... Are we curious? Why do we go beyond the absolutely necessary? Answer, because curiosity, when um, it reaches a solution, produces immense pleasure. The, the, the high that is uh, produced when you understand something, when you find something, and of course the importance is tremendous in evolution. Because not only does not only do you have curiosity, you have the satiation that finding the solutions generate. So you like not only looking but finding. Mm. This is this this issue is so important that clearly it has been one of the main elements of the evolution of intelligence. It's built in that you a 
have, have curiosity in B, you are gratified by its exercise and ultimately by the discovery of whatever you're looking for. And therefore, we are homo sapiens sapiens because we can be nothing else because we love <laughs> finding out things. And this is built into this the structure. This is built in. This is, of course, this is in fact one of the reasons why we are where we are. Because it is built in, like thirst, like the desire for, for, uh, for food, the desire for uh, any of the other things that give us gratification. So even though our pleasure may be achieved in some intellectual or astronomical or musical thing that has, seems to have no relationship to evolutionary survival, yet the core development of, of what enables us to do that, the pleasure that that creates, is the same thing that was built through evolution. Yes, because you know what? Ultimately, it does have an enormous importance in our survival. It may not me, be immediately apparent, but the history of having done this so many times oh. and having pleasure of it sums, and then science gets put together, and then we, we develop scientific method, we develop methodologies to communicate with each other. But it's based on precisely that. Uh, we know that without that ability, we simply would not survive. We would not proceed. 